Ruhr University Bochum is the largest campus university in Germany, with more than 42,000 students, 20 faculties and 3,300 researchers. It's among the leading research universities in the country. The Research Department of Neuroscience is one of Europe's leading neuroscience centres. 500 neuroscientists with systems neuroscience at the core of research and education at the International Graduate School of Neuroscience. The mission of the Department of Neuroscience is to understand function at the systems level and we go from molecule to behaviour. Our core conviction is that nothing in neuroscience makes sense except in the light of behaviour. We want to understand it at a very deep level. This means that we have to combine molecular, we have to combine behavioural, we have to combine systems, circuits and clinical aspects. And only if we combine these different aspects of a core function, we have a true understanding of how it works. The primary goal of the Research Department of Neuroscience is to have an explanation of behaviour and function that also achieves an understanding of pathology. And only if we have an understanding of brain function at the systems level, we will one day able to understand these different deficits that occur at the clinical side. We study learning and memory using functional MRI and EEG. We even conduct simultaneous EEG fMRI recordings as well as fMRI at very high field strength up to 7 Tesla. Activity in deep brain areas like the hippocampus is particularly difficult to investigate. However, these brain regions are crucial for memory processes. We use intracranial EEG recordings in epilepsy patients to track activity directly within the human brain while these patients conduct cognitive tasks. We study memory dysfunction in patients suffering from Alzheimer's disease. In addition, we also investigate healthy participants who are at genetic risk for developing Alzheimer's dementia. A spatial navigation experiments in a virtual reality environment inside the MRI scanner. Through animal studies, we can acquire specific knowledge about the mechanisms that underlie memory processes. On the one hand, we can examine the neurotransmitter receptors and the signal cascades that underlie these processes. But if we want to understand the physiological processes, we can use methods such as combining electrophysiological analysis with confocal microscopy. To truly understand how cellular information encoding mechanisms such as synaptic plasticity enable long-term memory, we need to be able to examine how synaptic plasticity emerges during learning events. For this, we record single units, field potentials, or neuronal oscillations in behaving animals during spatial learning. These approaches can be translated back into human studies by running comparative analysis of evoked potentials obtained during spatial learning in rodents and humans. We work together with theoretical neuroscientists and contribute data to their modelling approaches, correspondingly test their predictions in our behaving animals in order to try to better understand how spatial representations are encoded by the hippocampus. The theoreticians campus also work on a systems level and work closely together with the experimentalists. Two examples are navigation in rats, in particular place field formation, and reaching movement of humans. In both cases, we try to link the models and the psychophysical or the neurophysiological experiments very tightly, so there's a close interaction, talk about the experiments and we also discuss the models, and then we implement these things also on a robot platform to test whether they work in real life. Sometimes we also go into the details, for example looking at the hippocampal anatomy and see how that constrains information processing. So the main interest of the lab is to understand the modulation of neuronal signals which determine emotional and motor behavior and we do this by using a lot of different approaches uh, such as uh, physiology, uh, cellular and molecular approaches, in particular optogenetics. Optogenetics is a new technique to control cellular signals by light. For example, using light-activated proteins from UI or from algae in order to control signaling events in these cells. And we were involved in pioneering uh, this technique very early on. So the main goal of our research is to understand the mechanism of disease in relation to calcium channel mediated diseases 
ataxia, dyskinesia, and absent epilepsy, and in relation to diseases related to the serotonergic system, and this is anxiety and uh, depression. Here at the Medical Proteom Center of the Ruhr University Bochum, we are mainly interested to identify early diagnostic biomarkers for Parkinson's disease, for example. We work together with clinicians, get serum, plasma and liquor samples from them, extract the proteins from those samples, analyze them by mass spectrometry and can identify those proteins which are altered in the expression level, for example in the Parkinson's disease samples. And those proteins may later on further serve as potential protein biomarker candidates. We are also interested to identify proteins and also molecular pathways uh, which underlie specific diseases such as Parkinson's disease. Here we can now very specifically excise cells which are affected in this disease using laser microdissection. We excise those cells, extract again the proteins, identify proteins by mass spectrometry and those proteins which are altered again are potential proteins which have something to do with the progression of the disease. So in Alzheimer's disease we have found so far the so-called nuclear spheres. Those spheres grow and fuse just before a cell is dying and for that reason we think that nuclear spheres may be involved in the cell cycle re-entry which might be involved in the neuronal cell death. At the Ruhr University, systems neuroscience is characterized by intense collaborations between scientists from very different methodological disciplines. And it has spawned very many successful collaborative consortia, such as the Collaborative Research Center, known as the SFB 874, that is funded by the German Research Foundation. In this consortium, we research how sensory information processing leads to complex memory and cognition. One of the driving forces behind neuroscientific research at the Ruhr University is the International Graduate School of Neuroscience. We founded this school in 2003 with a view to training young neuroscientists in the methods and theory that they need for a successful career in this area. This is an English language program that brings students from all over the world to Bochum. They work together and are trained in multiple aspects of neuroscience and achieve, at the end of their training process, a PhD in neuroscience. This is a fantastic, dynamic, state-of-the-art program. Our young neuroscientists are our future, and it's our pleasure to guide them along their first steps towards an illustrious career.